Back at the time of the Apple event, I was actually surprised that Apple didn't call their best watch yet the Pro Watch. It crosses all the T's of Apple's Pro definition, ruggedness, all the better things for sports, etc. More than that, Series 8 got so boring, I don't even want to do any reviews of it. The second reason I was surprised is because of Apple's way of understanding Pro. It's either a better product than the usual one, but it is surely a mass market product, or it's a really niche one, but it's so freaking expensive that most of the buyers are big companies. And we've got multiple confirmations of that, starting with iPhones Pro to AirPods Pro and then the iMac Pro or Mac Pro on the other side. And then I got it. Apple Watch Ultra should not be a pro product, because it should appear even more superior, and also to convince you to buy it even more. Of course, sportsmen are considered too, but the tech enthusiast guys, the I want only the best guys, the guys that are just working in the harsh conditions, or the ones that just want a really big watch, they're all very important for the company's profit out of this model. Hi, I'm G and today I'll tell you why I think Apple Watch Ultra is a total mass market thing. Sit tight. Apple Watch Ultra's unboxing is a really premium experience. You get a nice booklet with pics and explanations, separate boxes for watch and strap is now a usual thing, but with the Ultra the boxes are more squared. Oh, almost forgot to mention those mountains inside the box and on the booklet it's… apparently it's a mountain watch. I have these two strips, both of them is the Alpine Loop made for climbers. It's got this hook to fix it up and if you want to carry this strap every day, it's definitely not the best option. Hook loops are really, really tight. Trail loop is made for running, even the extreme running. It's got this thing at the end to make it tighter, and it's a bit stretchier than the usual. And the ocean bend, the stretchiest one to suit the divers and with two fastening pieces. All straps of course come in a few colors. Almost all usual Apple Watch straps will work with the Ultra, and the special Ultra straps will fit any Apple Watch starting Series 4. Yeah, of course, it's not perfect, sometimes you'll have more space between the strap and the watch itself, but don't throw away your collection if you buy Ultra. That is also true for the Apple Watch Series 7 charger and the Apple Travel charger, they fit perfectly well. The only thing that can get in the way of charging Ultra with the Travel charger is your strap, you may need to take it off, especially if you want it to sit flat. Congratulations for every person that loves huge watches, it's definitely your option. Fun fact. Ultra is really light for such a big body. It's a titanium casing, though Apple made it only in one color and I don't like it that much. We also have a ceramic bag and finally a flat sapphire glass, which is by the way not a perfect decision for tough environments. Usually sports watches try to deepen the screen and fortify it with bezel, but not Apple Watch Ultra. Of course we've got more design separation from the usual Apple Watch, more speakers, more micro microphones, big protrusion and the button on it. Obviously bigger crown, but it's partially covered by protrusion and less comfortable in use than the usual Apple Watch's crown. More than that, there's a new orange action button, you can bind it to do different things. Travel of the button is not really big and travel of the crown is barely noticeable at all. Real life design is far less controversial than I suspected it to be, but this plastic thing under most part of the screen is distracting. Also, in my opinion, it's not a sports design. Rounded corners, cuteness, bright straps, it's just bigger. And watchOS is as familiar as it gets. Yes. Of course, there's some exclusive features built into it. Ok, first of all, new Wayfinder watch face. It has 8 complications, ability to show active compass and enable red only night mode if you turn the crown. Mm, I don't know, might be useful for astronomers or those who often develop the film. Actually, they could make this mode for a few more watch faces, but no. Action button can be set to 8 actions, workout, stopwatch, waypoint, backtrack, dive, flashlight or any shortcut. 
If you're doing the workout, the button will do more things, like marking a circle. And if you're pressing two buttons at the same time, you'll pause your training or run it again. Long press will reveal another menu. Here you can enable a really loud siren. Additional button is really comfortable when you're in the water or using gloves. Also, it's really beautiful. Compass app got a redesign. Now it has two new features. Waypoints, and you can name them, set any color and icon. Think of it like a game where you can put a spot on the map and go to it. For example, if you're afraid you won't find your parked car, it'll show you where it is. And backtrack. Mode for going back either to your waypoint in general or following your steps exactly. I found it to be really useful, but I could use the actual map. Now it's just stripes and points. The Compass app is not exclusive to the Ultra Watch. Any model newer than Series 5 will get it after the Watch OS update. Dive app will show you how long you've been diving, how deep you are now and even water's temperature. And the Oceanic Plus app will turn your watch into a dive computer. By the way, one feature divers could use would be precision tracking other people from your team underwater. Because sometimes in the deep waters you can't see past your stretch hand. Crash detection, fall detection, those are here too. The rest of the improvements are rather hardware than software. Ultra's microphones are good, now even as good as the iPhones, but speakers are not so much. If you have a noisy background, you'll need to keep your watch really close to hear at least something. Double GPS module will give you much more accurate tracking and much more precision workout results. Of course, Apple Watch Ultra is tested to keep up with different standards. Mil 810, especially for altitude, freeze, shock and vibration. I saw 22810 for diving up to 100 meters, but Apple says that Ultra should not be submerged more than 40 meters. Also, water resistance is degradable with time, so keep that in mind. Peak screen brightness of 2000 nits is amazing. In bright sun, it's the best new feature of all. And eSIM, if your carrier supports it, will make this watch even more useful. And battery. Now Apple Watch Ultra can be used about two days in a row, with the promise to have a new mode providing up to 60 hours of work time with less frequent measurements. Energy saving mode is already here and it will give you even more time without charging. Actually, battery life is one of the main reasons not to consider Apple Watch Ultra as a sports smartwatch. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good watch, but I don't think that desert runners will have time and wish to charge their smartwatch every day or two for an hour and a half. Not to mention those who take part in the tournaments or marathon runners or those who travel to mountain peaks when every spoon adds weight not to mention big power banks. Considering there's many smartwatches that can charge from the solar power, need charging once or twice a month and offer design that better fits your hand, not to mention bumped up bezels for watch safety, I really can't say Apple Watch Ultra is such a hardcore sportsman targeted device. No. Of course, they implement many things that those sportsmen will like. Brighter screen, bigger battery, sapphire glass, better microphones. But those those things will also be appreciated by casual users. And if we're talking about a casual Apple fan who already has an iPad or MacBook, Ultra's price of 800 bucks doesn't seem so unaffordable. These are simply the best watches Apple has ever made. Those who like big casing will love them even more. But sportsmen? No, I don't think so. Other sports watches may not offer that many features for everyday use, but they offer more more practical sports usage and far better battery life. If you're using a dedicated sports smartwatch, please write in the comments, will you abandon it in favor of Ultra, and if not, why so? Of course, I'll be happy if you leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day, bye!